So, Nottingham Forest have confirmed the signing of Brazilian goalkeeper Carlos Miguel from Corinthians. Not the first time we've dealt with Corinthians and not the first time we've signed a Brazilian player in recent seasons. Thinking back, Renan Lodi, of course, we've now got Danilo and Murillo still at the club. Gustavo Scarpa is the only one that didn't really work, but more importantly, Miguel. He's signing a four-year deal at the club. He's nearly seven foot tall. People are making a lot about his height. Um, and I do hope that that's something that can help us in terms of particularly set pieces. I think everyone knows our set piece ability last season was pretty woeful in terms of scoring them and especially conceding them. Could having a really tall goalkeeper maybe help that because he can jump for crosses a bit better than Sells, for example. I don't think Sells are particularly bad with that, but... Miguel is particularly tall. I'm curious as to whether that is actually a specific reason as to why we chose Miguel. Obviously, I'm sure there's other attributes. I mean, he's kept 14 clean sheets in 25 games for Corinthians. He's not even played that much football for them, which is interesting, you know, but clearly done very well in the games that he has done. If you could like and subscribe to Rads as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. It is also worth mentioning that Miguel has said in an interview that Murillo is a reason why he ended up signing for Forest. Of course, they would have played together at Corinthians. If we get anything like a Murillo type player, then we've absolutely smashed this in terms of recruitment again. But surely Miguel having Murillo just in front of him every game is going to be something that's going to really help him bed in and feel at home, not only being both Brazilian, but having played together before. He's 25 years of age, so he's got a lot of experience behind him already, but still many, many more years to come from him, especially as a goalkeeper. The question does ask though now, who is gonna be number one goalkeeper? Is it gonna be Miguel or is it gonna be Matt Sells? Matt Turner most likely is gonna move on. Does this mean we're gonna sign a third goalkeeper? I could see it happening. I don't want us to overload with new signings, but I do feel goalkeeper, this is an issue that we're having to pay the price for, for making such bad decisions last season with Turner and Vlasidimos. Got rid of one of those. Turner is meant to be leaving too. Having Turner as a third choice would actually be quite useful, but he's not going to stay, is he? Why would he want to be third choice? As bad as he is, he does deserve to go somewhere and actually play a few games. We'll see about that one, but I'm just curious who's going to be number one. Obviously, we've had a lot of problems with goalkeeper since Bray Samba left. Hopefully now, we've got two very solid goalkeepers on our hands. I will feel very sorry for Matt Sells if he's dropped because he came in and he did an excellent job last season. I know statistically he actually didn't even do amazing the, the stats didn't really back him up but i i watch football with my eyes shockingly and from what i saw of matt sells i liked him i thought he was good so i do feel bad for him if he's dropped but at the same time if he is dropped we've got to be fair on miguel i think it's clearly a signing we needed to make we had to at the very least offer competition for matt sells um and we can't really complain that we're suddenly Hopefully, we've got two very good goalkeepers rather than two clowns being polite. Who do you think is going to be number one? I, I'm really curious about it. I think Miguel is going to be number one, personally. I really do. It seems like it's not particularly expensive, this transfer, either. Good age, you know, did well at Corinthians. Obviously, it's where we signed Murillo from as well, so we've got a good track record from signing from them. It kind of fits that profile of signing Brazilian players along with obviously Danilo and Murillo too. So yeah, I have a feeling that it will be Miguel. I mean, Sales wasn't even our first choice option when we signed him anyway in terms of like, you know, going for a new goalkeeper. He definitely wasn't our first pick. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with it. We've got plenty of friendlies coming up. I've not even spoken about that on the channel, but we've got Sunderland, Millwall, Elche. Probably said that completely wrong. We've got a couple of under-21 opponents. I have a feeling that may be for the youth team rather than the first team because that happened last year, I seem to remember. We played, we had it listed as a first-team fixture, but the youth team ended up playing it. I think that might happen. We've also got Olympiacos in Greece and obviously Chesterfield before all of this this weekend. I may do some coverage for it. I'm not too sure. Stay tuned if I do. Let me know if you want to see these kind of videos more often in terms of me talking about a specific transfer happening. I normally just do a roundup of the week's news, but do you want to see me do this more where I'm talking about it as it happens? We've just signed a new player video for that player or players left. Let me know. So I'm just 
I want to try and mix it up a little bit in terms of how I cover it. It might be able to bring you a bit more content as well if I talk about stuff a bit more individually. But hope you've enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads if you're new. I'll see you soon, everyone. Up the Rads.